Nope, got him. Big one. Wow, there's a little bitty rock point sticking out right here. And I mean, with your polarized glasses, it's so important to look for that kind of stuff. But man, on these lakes like this, that are real clear and have clean bottom, man, you just, I mean, a lot of people like finesse baits and Ned rigs, but a shaky head is just, <laughs> I've learned a long time ago just how powerful it is. Look at that beautiful spot i rig it uh, you know when i'm fishing clean water like this i end up rigging it a little bit different than most people i'll show you here in just a second since i get him look at that he ate it too i mean that's three and a half pound spot right there i mean it's spring they're just they're just pulling up just getting ready to spawn and you know we'll let him go see you buddy Instead of rigging it kind of Texas style, I just thread it on there with the hook completely exposed. It's more of a old school jig worm technique. And the key with a shaky head is always use as light of a head as you can get away with. You know, so I, I'm just kind of concentrating on the transition line right now where it's kind of tapering off eight to 10 foot deep. So I've got an eight ounce head on. It just has a slow glide down. They see it coming down and most of them bite it on that initial fall. It hits the bottom. I'm gonna shake it a few times, just drag it along the bottom a little bit, reel it in and pick it up again. But I'm really focused on this transition line, little rocks, any, any little target zone that I can fish. And that thing is just deadly. We got high bright skies, really almost no wind. I just can't power fish under these conditions. A shaky head is deadly in this, this scenario right here. Got one. common pattern on these lakes is to throw at those shallow back corner poles on these floating docks. God, it's kind of so calm, just, just pitching a shaky head around. If you're looking to get bites, there's hardly a better thing you can do in clear water lakes, especially high pressure like this, than just pitching a shaky head. So, and just throwing it to targets you can see. So, you know, again, that one's right on the back corner, the back, that piling on the back of that dock. and. Uh, all I'm doing is using my glasses, my polarized glasses, and just going along, throwing at the color line, throwing it, you know, by any little lay down or anything like that, just kind of sitting back and making a pitch to them and just using an eighth ounce head, little fat baby finesse worm. It's just green pumpkin, purple swirl. Any, anything green pumpkin is always really good. They get around any of that kind of stuff like that. When they first pull up, when they're post-spawn, it's the same way. It's always a good choice. I mean, you just can't, in this conditions, really throw anything else power fishing to get them to bite. So finesse is the, is the way to go.